Hey, Dan Fitzpatrick here, StockMarketMentor.com, and I want to talk about Tesla. Now, the company reports earnings on Wednesday, and this is a stock, uh, it's funny, I'm kind of, <laughs> reason I'm posting this, uh, this video about Tesla is because I'm saying don't be fixated on Tesla, so maybe I should just be ignoring it, but here's the thing. Um, so the stock's been in this triangle. Okay, it broke out. I talked about this. And then it ran even more here a little bit. And then, boom, a big move here. Look at the volume. Below average, but we had like super super high volume here. So over time, you know, it's a, you know about it. Well, hell, I guess you got to go back a while. Um, but, you know, volume was up a little bit more. We'll put it that way. And so then you get this little this little pullback here. This is on Thursday. And then today, a tiny gap up. I, I had some stock. I sold it all. Um, and, uh, and then uh, a, a low close. So I know there's a lot of Teslonians out there and uh, a lot of people who think that Elon Musk is Tony Stark, only much smarter. Um, and so I get that. I don't. I'm not in that church with you, but I understand it. But I think that there's going to be a tendency to just, now that the stock is sitting here sideways, to take a gamble and say, oh, well, I know the, look what happened to the stock last time. It's always, it always goes up. It always goes up. Well, it really doesn't, but you can think that. I think at this point, um, if you're trading Tesla, it's literally like a day trade each day. And you need to just be really, really careful about being involved in the stock one way or the other um, on Wednesday at the close. I just think there's so many, there's so many things that could happen here. This stock could be down at you know at at 370 360 bucks at which time Kathy Wood and uh, what's his name Ross Berber Ross Gerber um, would be talking about how you know they had sold but now they're going to buy back on the other hand the stock could be up above 500 or beyond and now those same two nincompoops are talking about um, how Tesla's next move is to a thousand bucks. It could happen. We just don't know. What I'm just telling you is that this is a very risky stock to hold over earnings. So every day on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, if you're a Teslonian, if all you do is look at Tesla, and I know some of you guys do, um, if that's all you do, just don't let the stock suck you into where you're taking a big position over earnings, assuming that the numbers are going to blow people away and the stock's just going to scream and you're getting there early. It may happen. So I'm not telling you that it's not. I'm telling you that nobody knows. Nobody knows whether it's going to happen or not. And that would be you. You would be included in the definition of nobody. So don't think that you do. You never want to let your religion creep into um to your trading behavior. They're just totally not related at all, okay? So that's it. That's all I got for you. That's all. I'll see you Monday.